taking care of minority families. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's real exciting. We have a program that we think is second to none because nobody is excluded. We're already aware that there will be babies um, and uh, we have one of our very staunch supporters has been a gentleman in the black community who's 104 years old who has been not only financially supported but intends to be there in person. And so we're real excited uh, that, that not only are there uh, individuals who have not had the opportunity to do a lot of formal schooling, who uh, perhaps are on fixed incomes involved along with uh, the professional community, both uh, in, in black and white Nashville. Very good. Reverend, excuse me, Reverend Robertson, uh, to bring you uh, closer in uh, with us here. Uh, in terms of community involvement, exactly what is your responsibility uh, in the Center for Black Family Life? Well, I'm very excited about the concept of the center, of course. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do is to involve the greater black Nashville Davidson County community in issues which do involve not only our children, our teenagers, but also our parents in strengthening the black family. Obviously, as a pastor of a church that ministers uh, predominantly to a uh, black neighborhood in East uh, Nashville, I'm particularly concerned about the trends that we see uh, in our families, in our marriages, in our children, uh, some of which uh, Ms. Shaw has mentioned. Um, as a pastor and then also as a physician who uh, can sit on the other side of the desk and see some of the manifestations of these negative behaviors, particularly alcohol and drug abuse in our people, I was particularly concerned about becoming involved with um, an organization that would choose to focus on not studying, uh, not mm -hmm. uh, an ac having an academic interest in the problems of the black family, uh, not in uh, presenting ourselves uh, for the purposes of the media primarily to be up front and, and to be seen but not heard, to be uh, hearers but not doers, but to be involved with an organization that would be uh, uh, specifically designed to begin to address and not only us doing for you, but ourselves working for ourselves. And this really is what the uh, Center uh, for Black Family Life is all about. Uh, as a pastor, I hope that we will encourage other black churches throughout the city to demonstrate their interest in a variety of ways. The conference is going to be an ideal opportunity for uh, persons in the community, individuals, families, uh, churches again, other community organizations that are concerned about our community to come out and to begin to say, yes, I'm concerned and I want to be involved. I want to be visible. I want to be present. I want to share my resources for the benefit of the black family. And I'm one of the representatives and one of the many representatives, as Mrs. Shaw has mentioned, of the community uh, who want to make this statement and who want to be involved. And I'm proud to be uh, an executive board member and a charter member of the center, <laughs> and I trust that this is the beginning of many uh, such programs that are very specific and will be very helpful in addressing and in solving uh, the problems that we know face our communities. Let us talk about some of the uh, problems that are impacting up on the black family uh, today. First of all, let's talk about the makeup of the uh, black family. Uh, some people talk about a traditional black family and a non-traditional family. But I understand that uh, the majority of our